Jackson. Oh. Are you recording? Yeah. Oh, oh man. I'm ready. You ready? No, I'm sleepy. Better wake up. Wake up. You don't show me love like you're supposed to. Feeling betrayed by some of the people that I'm close to. I can probably try to, but I can't coach you. I don't need no love, it's something I can show you. I'm knowing we just met, so why I'm feeling like I know you. I feel like Bow Wow well, right now, I really wanna hold you. You bring me a lot right now, I'm feeling like. What's poppin', my give me out the keys and queens? This is Daisy K up in the second, aka Queens DK Gamut. You already know how it go, and we back to the back to the back with another freaking video. Okay. So, I have my aunt here. And she has been happily married for almost nine years. And you've been with your husband for Ooh, since my senior year of high school. And that is how long? Mm, since 2007. So you've been with him for let's do some math real quick. Ten uh 14 15 years, 15? 15, 15, 15 is 2022, not 2021. Yeah. yeah. They've been together for 15 years. So, yeah. We're going to talk about, this is my relationship part two. You know, I'm giving y'all parts and parts and parts to videos. And yeah, so we get into a relationship part two. And in this, in this video, I can't talk. I'm tired as heck. Um, we're thinking about and trying to, no. <laughs> okay, in this video, we are talking about what it takes to have a successful relationship. Okay, so I'm going to start by... Asking you what what do you think it takes to have a successful relationship? Okay, to have a successful relationship, you have to start off by having God in your relationship. And it's not like just one partner having God, it has to be both. Because if you don't both have God, it's not gonna work. So um, you're saying that like God has to be in the center of your life. God has to be in the center of your partner's life. And then you guys both have to have God in the center of your relationship. Perfect. Okay. So, the next question is, what are the top five qualities that you look for in your partner? Or that you believe that your partner should have? It ain't my skin, because I ain't black. <laughs> <laughs> well, every relationship is different. Every um, person's perspective is going to be different um, as to what they look for and what they need. Um, but as I spoke before, key is God. Um, so that's one big quality. Um, God is key. Yeah, God is key. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, sec secondly, um, we got to be willing to communicate with one another. Um, communication. Uh, is really really big we're still working on that after 15 years um, and i'm gonna have to say i just want to add in there i'm sorry to cut you off but with communication you have to listen to understand not listen to respond facts i'm still working on listening and not responding because <laughs> yeah us females do that yeah anywho so compromise is uh, very important. Um, you can't always have it your way. Even though I tend to get like my kids when things don't go my way, I get kind of mad and I'm like, but why? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it needs to go my way. It's my way or um, my way. Yeah, but uh, for it to be successful, you both gotta work as a team. So you gotta be able to compromise and um, yeah, compromise is, is pretty important. Uh, another quality could be, um, I mean, if you look at the parenting aspect, is um, working together. And not only that, when it comes to kids, but even before kids, working together when it comes to, like, working around the home, um, 
finances. Trying to build each other up. Yeah. Like, you should always build each other up and not tear each other down. And um, as I spoke before on a compromising portion is, um, or not compromising, I'm sorry, working together portion is hypothetically you do have kids um, and not stepping on the other person's toes when somebody, whether it's right or wrong, um, you shouldn't correct it in front of the child when they're being disciplined or talked to about a situation. Um, so you, wait, wait, let me cut you off. Cause I'm gonna make that like a whole thing in itself. Whenever you're in public, you shouldn't allow other people to see you argue truthfully i feel like i mean like everybody knows their relationships you're going to have disagreements and stuff but to just like have a full-on argument and i mean really you shouldn't allow other people really in your relationship because you'll forgive your partner but other people won't so That's why I speak on people. You, <laughs> so i'm just wanted to add that in there like yeah you shouldn't I don't even know what I was saying. Let others in your uh, relationship, pretty much. Yeah. Um, yeah, you have to have that bond between the both of you. Um, for one, for it to work. Um, and just kind of like, especially those that are married, you got to remember your vows. I mean, richer or poor, better or worse. You just got to thug it out with each other. Because, I mean, if not, everybody going to fail. But that's not what we're in it for. We're not in it to fail. We're in it, we're in it to win. So we got to be like supporting each other. Mm -hmm. Throughout everything. And I guess I think that I guess it's really like top six because that was five. So I'm going to say like top six would be you and your partner need to make sure that y'all have like something that y'all want to go for individually. Like Aside from kids, especially like before you have kids, have your own goals. That way you guys have something to put your energy towards. Like that could be like your outlet when you're angry with each other or, you know, like y'all just have something else to focus towards rather than putting everything into your relationship or wanting to be up underneath your partner all the time because you will need your own space. Yeah, facts. I think that's important. Like always having your own space and having somewhere to go to when you just need a breather because like regardless if you're in a relationship or not yeah your partner is somebody you want to go to but at the end of the day you still just like need to break from everybody yeah like a de-stressor yeah but you need your me time mm -hmm. and then your us time yeah everybody needs their me time truthfully even kids need their me time but that's that's another story so, yeah, those are just a couple tips from a married woman. So, I know. Well, this podcast is brought to you by water. You know, Get that out of here. Water. <laughs> Drink your, your water. water. <laughs> Y'all see, uh, I'm slacking today. I only got through half of this. So, Drink your water. Drink your water. Drink it's your good water. For you. It is. <laughs> Keep you happy. Yeah. Make your sex life pretty good too. It does. Drink your water. Drink your water. Can I drink some of your water? Yeah. Where your lips been? Where your mouth been? <laughs> <laughs> that is personal. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, that's the end of this. I just want to bring you guys another relationship video because I been said that I was going to do a part two. I have yet to get around to it until now. Like, and I just want to apologize again because I know I've been slacking on my content, but life's been a little bit crazy. I'll be back. So, yeah, we're going to be back to the back, to the back, to the back, to the back with a lot more content, okay? And Please, anything for me, just let me know, you know. In the comments, slide like, in the comments, comment, share, and subscribe. Definitely subscribe. Turn on them post notifications, and then we'll and, give you water. And we'll see you in the next video. Okay.